hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Demi Rivlin, your favorite youtuber uh, how are we doing if you're coming across this channel for the first time welcome please relax be part of family we are here to discuss something that will help us okay and today i want to bring to your notice some of the vacancy for health care assistant that wants to come to uk and one thing is that i don't post vacancy that i don't i don't recruit from us that I don't recruit from outside nigeria once once i post a vacancy them will be requesting from outside nigeria okay so this vacancy on healthy assistance okay they are recruiting from outside nigeria all you need to do is to watch the video and see what the, what i said hear what i said and also apply the link to the vacancy is in the description box of this video but before you apply make sure you watch this video very very important okay if you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe and like, comment. If you have not joined my healthcare assistant group, guys, do well to join because people are moving. People are moving. Don't be left behind, okay? And I always say, um, healthcare assistant is not the only job that is moving in the UK, okay? Healthcare assistant job is not the only job. There are so many jobs that have been added to shortage occupation list. And when I mean shortage occupation list, that means that employers cannot recruit people from outside the UK to come and do those jobs so do not focus only on healthcare assistant anything that can move you out of where you are guys pursue it with full force okay so what I'm going to show you now is for healthcare assistant actually and follow my step and apply make sure you have a good CV make sure you apply well don't rush relax 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 okay just relax don't rush because when you rush over it, they're going to rush out your application and put it in the bin. So all you need to do is relax, watch this video, and follow my step and apply to this vacancy. Very simple. So let's see the, the vacancy now. The first vacancy, and it's actually an NHS job, okay, which is quite rare to come by. Emergency department, you have to work in an emergency department and band two row permanent. You're working to 7.5 hours. The employer is um, University uh, Hospital Sources, NHS Foundation Trust. The site is in Sources, okay? Brighton, actually. They're paying 20 to 21,000 pounds. I know some people will come and tell me, oh, they don't, you can, you can uh, apply for visa with uh, this kind of, yeah, you can apply for visa with 21,000 pounds, okay? And this is it here, okay? So this application is closing on 16th uh, October. So do well to apply to it. I have taught you guys how to apply using a uh, track job. This is track job and you need to know how to apply with it. If you don't know, go and go to one of my, all my videos and watch how I, thought about track job so what you need to do come down there are so many of these kind of uh, vacancy in track job so but you need to find out which one of them is recruiting from outside the uk so let's go down and see if this one is recruiting from outside the uk when you come down read your duties and responsibilities okay to help you in application let's come down and see when you come down, so they, they're looking for those that have work in acute uh, area and is also HCA. HCA means healthcare assistant, okay? That is it. So let's go down and see whether they're looking for those outside. This is what they say. They said application for skilled, skilled worker sponsorship and welcome for those that meet the requirements. Requirement means that you have your IELTS result, TP certificates, and stuff like that. Okay, so application for skilled worker sponsorship are welcome for those that meet the visa and immigration criteria. Okay, so guys, this is it. All you need to do is come down, click on apply. When you click on apply, it's going to take you to the site where you apply for this role. I'm not going to go over this again because if I click on this apply now, it will bring out my details and I don't want to fill my details there. But I've actually showed you guys how to apply for 
job on on track job. I have done that several. Right, how many times I do it? Okay, but if you don't know how to apply for job with track job, comment in the comment section. You don't know. Let me do a fresh video on that again. So all you need to do is apply here and submit. You have to fill the application form one by one. I wish you guys the best. Let's go to the second one. Uh, this is the second one. It's healthcare support worker role. Can you care? And if you know healthcare support work, oh, you should know that it's a good job, actually. <laughs> we are just supporting people that are capable. You know, they just have to help them in little ways. Not like you are not like you are doing everything for them. They are doing things for themselves, just that you need to, you know, guide them, support them, guide them. Okay, it's actually a cool job here. And you work in the community, which is actually giving you freedom and independent role. Okay, so this is a Bantu job and it's permanent. Okay, so let's go down and see highway uh the university and is NHS actually. And they pay 20 to 21,000 pounds. It's closing today, guys. This application is closing today. This application is closing today. Apply as well. So let's go down. When you come down to check whether um is actually recruiting people from abroad, let's see, because it's not only about posting, posting, posting. Is it recruiting? Are they recruiting? Okay. So let's go down. Make sure you read through the job description because you need it to apply for this job. So when you come down. Let's see. Let them be. Let them be recruiting, please. Okay. They say to work in the UK, all candidates who are not UK or Republic of Ireland nationally require sponsorship to obtain health and care visa, unless you have permission to work. So, non-UK candidate wishing to apply should self-assess their likelihood of obtaining a certificate. If you are eligible for health and care visa application costs are lower. What I'm trying to say is that you should check whether you are eligible to, you know, to apply. Like if you have what it takes to apply, like your IAT result and stuff, like I said in the first one, when you have your IAT result, your care certificates and all stuff like that, then you are eligible, apply to them. They will give you sponsorship because not every one can be giving sponsorship. You have to have all the requirements I listed. You should have international passport. You should have um IS, uh, English exam requirement, TP test, police clearance, and also make sure that salary they are paying up to twenty one thousand pounds. Okay, because with, if they're not paying up to twenty one thousand pounds, they cannot you cannot uh apply for visa with it because they believe that maybe that salary cannot take care of you in the uk so they might they, they might not grant you visa with that kind of salary so that is it so guys they are recruiting people from outside if they're not recruiting people from outside you will not see this you see this you will not see this here that is one thing you should know so when you come down when you come down click on what apply now and apply that is it guys so let's go. It's actually a support worker role. 